If it looks like a duck, walks like a duck, and talks like a duck, it's probably decor. <laughs> Let's see what else I got right after this. Hi, I'm Amy, the Rainy Day Shopper. I sell on Poshmark and I'm just getting started over on eBay. And right now I have the second half of the haul that if you did not see that on Saturday, I will put a link up here. It was the clothing and belt portion of the haul. And now I have some hard goods and I don't even actually remember what's in the box because it's all wrapped up and I haven't looked at it since. And I probably should have unwrapped it first, but I don't really have a table to put it on. So we're just gonna try this because it's, you know, you want to see the things, the stuff. Um, this is actually, let's see, can I get to both of them? Hold on. Don't mind me, I'm just reaching here. Um, well, come on out, little ducker. So this is just a set of two little quackers. Um, they have the vintage ribbon on them. They say FJP burned in on the bottom, so I don't know if they were hand whittled or carved, but they're just so cute. Um, and I know that wood and carved goods, arts and craftsy kind of stuff is always in style depending on your vibe. I obviously would definitely change the ribbon, but I'll probably leave that for the person who buys it. I don't know, I may take them off because they are, they're not even the good old school ribbon, but their style. So yeah, got these two. This was half price day, so um, the two of them together were about $4. And I thought they were cute. We'll see what anyone else thinks. I'm still, like I haven't, clothes I'm pretty comfortable with buying weird stuff and I'm being like yeah someone will buy it the it may take a while the right person's gonna have to find it I'm okay with waiting hard goods I don't know I I don't know so I'm just trying some things like this little guy he's just a little teddy bear super cute no markings on him um but he's just wouldn't that be so cute in a baby's room someone could paint him if they wanted he's just cute so I got him he was a dollar fifty. Um, so I figure, you know, someone might buy him for ten bucks, maybe more. I don't know. Okay, these guys. I at the end of like the shopping, I was just kept going around to the shelves and looking at things, and I just kept going and looking um, because I miss things. And then I was like, oh, she's ringing me up. It's taking a while. Let's go see what else is there. Um, and one of the else things that were there were these two little pairs this little pair of painted ducks. Um, this one has a little pom-pom in its nose. I can't remember if this one had a pom-pom or not. I wonder if it's in the box. I'll look for it. Um, but they have this um, from Grace Poe 1989. So they're vintage. And then O-H-C-H-O, Cho. Um, but they're just so stinking cute. And it looks like they may have been handmade by whoever that show is. This one's little neck has a little space there, but that just looks like how it was put together or was pegged together. But aren't those cute? Look at the little quackers. Quack, quack, quack. Apparently I have a thing for ducks. Who knew? I did not know that. I mean, I grew up in Oregon. I used to go feed the ducks all the time. There was actually a store by my house over in Felony Flats called The Duck Inn, and we used to go feed ducks there and buy the french fries because that was good. And my mother liked to buy the french fries and dip them in the chocolate shake, which I have never fully gotten behind, though I do appreciate it occasionally. All right, what else is in this? And I'm sorry, there's gonna be crumpling. I'll mute it or put music on or just talk over it because apparently I feel chatty today. Um, oh! This is a cute little dude. He's just a little owl. And it says weather and forecaster on the front. And then on the bottom it says 1975 Inesco. And there it looks like there was probably a sticker there and it might have been Japan. Um, Cause I think wasn't Inesco like Japan. Anyway, it's in cute shape. It has some little glitter on it. But it's just a cute little owl. Owls are very in right now. I'm gonna wrap them back up. Sorry for the crumbling. I need to get a table, that's all I'm saying. Let's see what else is in the box. <laughs> this is so fun, I'm unboxing my own stuff and I don't remember it. Guess that's one of the benefits of having pre-menopause brain or just not opening the box soon enough and taking the pictures and posting them. I haven't listed any hard goods yet, by the way. 
Oh, this is a pair of uh, Noritake Japan, just some cute little salt and pepper shakers. And there's another one in there because it's a pair and I bought two. Otherwise I wouldn't have bought them. No matter how cute they are, it doesn't help just to have the salt. Though some people do like to mix and match. Look, I found it. Number two. And it's just like this stoneware, like the, um, there we go. Like restaurant wear, old school. Those are fun. Actually, I might keep, no, I have cute. I already have cute salt and pepper shakers that are very country. Like I'm not going to go show you my salt and pepper shakers cause that's weird. But anyway, you'll just have to trust me that they're cute. They're like canning jar salt and pepper shakers, like planting glass jars. All right. What else we got? Just a box. There's more stuff in it. So much fun. The taking the thing. Oh, that's heavy. I better wait. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. I got to worry about balance here. Cause this is on my little small table that I also thrifted. Oh, this is cute. Uh, CC Italy says there, and it's just this cute little stoneware jar. Isn't that pretty? It's just, uh, painted part way around. And there are a couple like little bumps from manufacturing, like when it was made. And I feel like it's probably was thrown on a wheel. Not sure. There's some, like it definitely has wear. It doesn't have a date or anything on it, so I'll have to look it up. But I just thought that was super cute and would look cute with some little flowers sitting inside it. Um, I could use it as like a little milk pitcher, but I don't know what the glaze, I'd be worried about lead in the glaze if it's vintage. And I think it's probably vintage because it just of the look of it, but who knows, I could be wrong. There we go, put that down. Hmm, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, I got some mugs. I forgot I got mugs. I haven't really looked at mugs a lot, but then I got some mugs and I liked them. So I got them. Let's see. And they were all, this was half price day I went. So I got things for half price because that's how much they cost. Uh, let's see. This is hard to read. Oven, dishwasher, microwave, safe. Uh, so I can't read it. This part I have to figure out. But it was just really pretty. Look at how pretty that is. It's a nice ceramic mug. Chunky, great for coffee. And it is, obviously it has the oven, dishwasher, microwave stuff on it. So it's a little more modern. Oh, something glazed potter, pottery, villa, something. I have no something. And maybe Colorado. The chicken is going crazy outside. You probably can't hear that, but oh my God. Will you stop, you silly chicken? That's what it's doing. And the eyes do that, I'm sorry. I'm, I just imitated a chicken, I don't know why. All right, that was a fun mug. Let's see what else is in the box. This is so exciting. And I didn't have to pay extra for, I mean, I already bought it, but I didn't have to pay extra to have a box to unbox. I'm just unboxing it. Oh, these were fun. It's a pair of salt and peppers. Look at them. It is SH on the bottom. So I'm assuming someone made these. I don't know. It says pepper. I'll find you the salt. But isn't that cute? Oh, look at the lines on that. So adorable. All right. Like I said, I don't know anything about any of this. So if some of you are watching this going, okay, maybe I should go buy whatever. She don't know. Don't do it. I'm the doofus who's going to lose money if none of this sells for anything. But I'll keep you posted because if it does sell for something, then totally go out and buy the stuff that I'm buying. Uh, I do watch Crazy Lamp Lady and Lavender Clothesline. I like them as far as hard goods a lot. Plus, they're kind of fun to watch. Um, yeah, that's who I kind of check in. And then I just buy stuff that I like. I buy stuff that I won't mind keeping, <laughs> though I don't need that many salt and pepper shakers in my life, really. Um, where's the other one? Oh, there it is, maybe. No, that's something different. Mm. Mm. I'll have to find the other one. I don't know where it went. It's wrapped up somewhere. But we're moving on to a mug because I'm unwrapping things. And this has... Oh. 
Well, it was, you can see the price. It was 55 cents, but half off. It says South Dakota, and there's a tag on the bottom that's silver. And I wanna say I could read some part of it, not in this light though. Um, but it's just a really cute little old school mug. Isn't that adorable? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure it's probably Japan down there, but I can't tell because the light, and that's my excuse and I'm sticking with it. All right. What else have we got in here? This is so exciting. Ooh, what is this? Are you a vase? Hopefully you're only one thing in there. Okay, you are, oh, you're a mug. I got two of these. Um, it's a cool stoneware mug. It has no markings on the bottom. Oh, that one has a little chip I didn't notice. Right there. I don't know if that's a chip or if that's just like a manufacturer flaw. Anyway, it's just this cute little mug and there were two of them. So I got them. It's really cute, I thought. But now if that one has a flaw on the bottom, see, it has right there. Can you see that? Mmm. Awkward. All right, don't wrap it up. Put it down there. Don't break the things and the stuff. Oops. Oh, that's another one of those mugs. Hold on, I'll show it to you. Just so you know that I actually bought two. Yeah. Really cute. Could actually turn it upside down and use it as a candle holder too. Just saying. If you're feeling sassy. Actually, that'd be kind of a fun decor, like a, kind of a topsy-turvy Alice in Wonderland like tablescape. That would actually be a fun way to use mugs like that because I have a perfect spot for a taper candle. I'm back. All right. Didn't mean to sneak up on you like that. Let's see, what else have we got here? Now I'm worried about my other salt, my pepper shaker, because I'm not, I have the... I have the pepper, but I'm worried about the salt shaker. I'm not seeing it in there, and that's a little disconcerting. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> this felt like a mug. I'm a doofus. Anyway, it's the salt. Um, again, SH has the rubber stopper. But they're so cute, right? Aren't those adorable? Anyway. I can't find it. Oh, yeah, it's in my hand. Do, do, do. What else have we got? I think three more things, maybe four. Oh geez, it's all fun and games until I knock something down. As long as the whole box doesn't go down, we're okay. Oh, this one's so cute, okay. This again is missing a sticker. And it's just this interesting, and I need to get off this sticker, but look at it, it's this really cute. They're workers, it is glazed on. Um, I wish it had the sticker because it feels vintage. It looks vintage. It could be totally fake, but isn't that a cool mug? Yeah. Just all the people doing all the hard work of the world and everyone else is being like, no, 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 no. I'm going to sit on my butt and play video games. And oh, poor me. Oh, poor me. People doing hard work. I'm just saying. Plus, I have to go out and weed the garden. Speaking of hard work. Oh. That's not as hard work as harvesting everything in the fields. Oh my gosh. All right, oh my gosh, this mug is so funny, hold on. So this is just a big chunky mug. It has a dude. I think that's supposed to be a lamp, but I don't know. But there's a dude on his armchair. He's all chilling, he's got a pot here. Um, and it comes over here and the TV has signed off because he slept all night and it says N.A. Eastman 1981. Isn't that a fun mug? I have no idea what it is, but it's just super fun in good shape. Watch I say that and I find a chip I check everything, but obviously not well enough. Mm -hmm. Because, ooh, that's a good look. Okay, someone tell me not to do that on the YouTube or kick the camera whilst I'm putting things in and out. 
Now this is a super heavy jug oh, and it's the last thing. And I just got it because it was really pretty and I think it's modern, pretty sure it's modern. Yes, yeah, Style Eyes for Mikado Collection. Um, but I got it for style because look at how cute that is. It says tomato. It's a really nice little pitcher jug. Um, has tomato on the other side. So not vintage, obviously. Um, oven, microwave, and dishwasher. Just in case you want to bake something in your jug, you can. Let's see. Oh, no, it's in a spot. Um, but I just thought it was really cute, and it's something that I might keep and use. I might keep and use. Hopefully that, I don't know if that echoed the way it did here. Otherwise, I'm just singing into a pitcher, and I'm a doof. I've told you that before. That's okay. I will continue to be a doofus because I'm quite good at it. It's good to do things that you are good at in life. Anyway, this one uh, goes really well with my garden and is just really cute. So if no one buys it, I will happily keep it because it's pretty. All right, there we go. Hard goods. That was fun to unwrap. I kind of forgot what I had in that box. I have a couple more boxes like that that I will probably be unwrapping for you, but I'll work on getting a table so I can unwrap them and have them sitting out beforehand. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Think about subscribing and liking. I do put videos out every Wednesday and usually I'm trying to get in something for Saturday too, just depending on my work schedule and what mom needs and how much work there is to do out on the farm. So that said, I hope everything is well with you and you're out there making a world a world. Yeah, just make any world a better place, please. It doesn't matter. I mean, just some world needs to be a better place. But hopefully, like, let's try and make this world a better place. I will see you next time. Bye!